hello. Uh, it seems to be most strange that uh, human nature is such that uh, in the order of uh, the universe, there are no mistakes. In pidgin language, we will talk like this. For this earth, we will do nothing will happen without uh, a reason. So, but uh, you see, you don't look for success, you achieve success by performance. How do you achieve success? You achieve success by way of uh, creating value in time and space by repeatedly doing the same thing over and over again and achieving what we call mastery. By the time you become a master, it means nobody can ever get it done the way you get it done. How can they ever get it done? They cannot because they don't have the capacity and the competency to do that. So, they will hear your name all over the four corners of the world and they will come seeking for you because you create world in time and space. Even if you're in the middle of the desert, you are like the oasis where all the camels and men must come to draw water. They need to draw water of life. Because anywhere there is value, people go there. Anywhere there is fun, people are happy to be part of it. But not everybody can be happy with you. Because when some people are happy with you, some people will not be happy with you. And in the universe, there must be balance. We call it duality of the universe. So we'll be happy with you. So must, of course, be sad with you. Because you've got what they don't have. So because of that, they envy you. It creates jealousy, it creates hatred. And some of them may get belligerent. They get belligerent, they want to attack you. When these you don't contend issues with people you are not supposed to contend issues with. And of course, you need to know your value because refusing to know the value and refusing to recognize the fact that everybody cannot love you means you are putting your life at risk. It means you don't appreciate your life as it were. Not appreciating your life as it were means it could be wasted. That is why they will tell you that good people cannot uh, last. Not as if it wasn't intended, because good people never realize how important they are to time. And if you get too popular, or you create too much mass movement or followership, the system of this world, which we call the jungles of uh, societies or government, they want to take you out because they don't want competition. They get envious of you right from time memoria, Right from the days of Jesus Christ, you have record of people that have been taken out. And what do I mean? If Jesus Christ existed, because we are not too sure, some stories, conspiracy stories said it was invented from the book of death of the Kemetic Egypt. But then we know of uh, Reverend King Jr., Malcolm X, and a lot of other very popular people who were taken out because some begin to see them as a threat. And because they were a rallying point for the most oppressed people in this world, which is still the Africans. Whether you like it or not, by my nature, I'm not a racist, but the truth cannot be denied that if a black man and a white man commit an offense, the white man will get a favorable term as against the black man. But I will not take it from them that most of the troubles in this world most of the resilient in-house fighting, backbiting, backstabbing, and betrayal are from our own very people. Because that is why the freedom fighters, each time they want to raise their hand in defense of Africa, they always raise one hand. They cannot afford to raise the two hands because you must be fighting your people with one hand while you are protecting the interests and moving the interests of the masses forward because they will always be these attractions. And some people will not agree with you because the reason is, before they gave birth to our forefathers, our great, great, great grandfather, a generational issue, they delineated us in, with religious issue. And the fear of every living creature is the fear of uh, 
a longevity or living forever. What do I mean by this? That is why most of us want to procreate. Procreation is good. We call it being fruitful and multiply. You want to have seedlings after you in your death because why? You don't want the extermination of your name because what has happened is that there have been a lot of uh, uh, stories uh, from we had, from what we gathered from the sculptural piece around the world that uh, there was a time where the black race was all over the world. What do I mean by this? It means right from Europe all over the world to the aborigines of this world, to the four corners of the globe, the black people dominated. What has happened over time? The bloodline has been established by infighting, maybe geopolitical temperature and all those things, and that's it. But the point is, nobody wants to die. Everybody wants to leave a sibling behind. Besides that, everybody wants to keep a memory behind by leaving a creative product. Maybe that's why we appreciate artifacts and antiquity, because they live beyond us. Then besides that, that is even what fuels religion, right from the time of immemoria, of the caveman, we call it the early man. They venerate life after death. It is the cause of all things because there's nothing that happens in the universe without a reason.